Hey Gecko fans, this is Wally with Supreme Gecko. I've shown you some amazing, amazing geckos in past videos. Take a look at this. And this. And this amazing gecko. How about this gecko? These are truly some amazing animals and I'm very blessed to be working with these. But today I'm going to show you some animals that you certainly have not seen on any of my videos. You might not have seen these geckos at all. Take a look at this. Hey Gecko fans, I take a lot of pride in being able to work with some amazing animals and you've seen some of these in past videos. Now I don't show you all the geckos that we're working with simply because I want to bring them into the facility, work with them, manage them for a while, try to breed them, hopefully get some eggs, get some babies, work with the babies and then I like to share with you from an educational standpoint so that you can work with them as well. So today I was thinking about some of the animals that I haven't shown you and I thought maybe it's a good idea to record them so that we get them down somewhere just in case anything happens and also to share the amazing, amazing beauty of these rare, super rare geckos. Now again, you're going to see some geckos that maybe you've never ever seen before and especially the last one. So stay around until the end so you see this amazing animal. Let's go ahead and open up some enclosures and take a look at some of these geckos. Now the very first animal that we're going to see here is Teratosynchus kaiserlingi. Now I've had Teratosynchus syncus in the past. I've bred them, I've had babies, it's a big bodied animal. They're typically called the frog eye geckos and they get big. They get to be about six to seven inches. With those incredibly large eyes, these animals are just adorable. And last year at the Schaumburg NERBC show 2022, we picked up a pair of Kaiser Lingi. Now these animals I've had in the past, in fact our granddaughter Crystal named them Batman and Wonder Woman. They were great to work with. The only problem was that I think that I had two males because every single time that we put them together, they were vicious towards each other. So knowing that these animals have a bit of a temper, it was a little stressful to put them together this spring. I waited almost a whole year to condition them up, keeping them separate, and about a month ago, I put them together. Now, I watched them like an eagle, and I couldn't believe it. They were just little puppy dogs together. They absolutely did great together. How do I know that? Because right now, I have one egg. I'm hoping for more this year. We'll see how that goes. But I tell you what, they are bulldogs to anybody else. Take a look at this. When I go into the female's enclosure and I lift up the hide, she comes running at me. She gets to the front class, she digs a little hole, she barks at me. It's just incredible to watch. In fact, in this video, I tried to get a little bit too close and she almost got me a couple of times. Again, this is Teratosynchus kaiserlingi. I know, I know, what's the common name? I get this asked all the time, and I go by the scientific names, but I'm going to start using some of the common names for everybody. This is the Persian Wonder Gecko. The next gecko on our list is Ganiosaurus huliensis, and by this point you're saying, what Wally, it's a common cave gecko. There is nothing common about this animal, folks. I've rarely seen it in the hobby. I know a couple of people that might be keeping it currently, but it might be gone out of the hobby. The care is certainly just like the common cave gecko, Ganiosaurus haniensis. But again, this is Ganiosaurus huliensis. It gets much, much bigger, almost one and a half times the common cave gecko. I bet you you didn't know in the genus Ganiosaurus, there's over a dozen different species from the very, very small Ganiosaurus orientalis to the extra large Ganiosaurus boanglagensis and catbansis. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description of this video to a great cave gecko site so that you understand all the different species. Last year, we were fortunate enough to get four eggs from Ganiosaurus huliensis. I'm certainly hoping that 2023 will be just as successful, if not more so. And by the way, the common name for Ganiosaurus huliensis is Hu Line Tiger Gecko. So tell me so far, have you seen some of these geckos? Have you seen the next two that are going to come up on our list? Leave a comment down below and tell me if you have or have not. Our next gecko that we're going to see is Surtodactylus papilionitis. Boy, oh boy, that's a mouthful. There's a ton of different species in the genus 
Certidactylus, and it is so hard to keep track of all of them. There's so much controversy about each and every single different species, but I've been very fortunate enough to work with a friend, Jim McDermott, who really, really knows this genus. I purchased a male and a female from Jim last year, or was it two years ago? Anyways, they've been growing and conditioning up. I just introduced them recently. My fingers are crossed because I just absolutely love these smaller Certidactylus. The larger ones are crazy, crazy wild and super cool, but the smaller ones just have my interest. Now, these guys are super, super shy. I'm just very fortunate that we got some video of these guys. Now, again, they'll get to be about six, maybe even seven inches. They're from Thailand, and they're known as the Butterfly Forest Gecko. Hey, do you like seeing these videos of these rare geckos? If you do, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe so that you can see maybe a part two. What do you think? Should I share some more of these not often seen geckos? Hit that like, hit the subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss another one of these videos. Let's talk about number four. Number four is another Certidactylus. It's a small Certidactylus, only about four to five inches long. Now there's a lot of debate going back and forth whether it's Certidactylus pangensis, Certidactylus pangensis subspecies, Zembracus. We just know, don't know. We're going to call it here Zebracus for right now. And again, this is another gecko that's coming from Thailand, Malaysia, and they love the high humidity, and they are super, super secretive. I cannot tell you how hard it is to see these animals. I love how these animals look. They have such a unique pattern, really super cool, but it's not how they look that makes me want to keep these. It's their sounds. They'll actually chirp at each other. Now I've tried to record this myself and I haven't yet. I've heard it, but I haven't gotten the camera out quick enough to actually record it. But take a look at this video. This is super cool. I tell you what, folks, when you're sitting two or three or four rooms away from these animals and you hear this chirping, it's just amazing. It sounds just like a bird. Yes, I know, I promised four different geckos, but I have a bonus gecko, and I'm going to show you this really super fast. This is a very, very small clip. This is Pseudogecko smeridinus. This animal is simply amazing. The very first time I ever saw this animal on websites and in books, it was just crazy looking at them. Now this is from the Philippines and it's not seen in the hobby that often. This is called the green smooth-tailed gecko and I tell you what folks, this is rare. This is a very very small gecko only getting to be about five inches or so. We're feeding them Cresta gecko diet, fruit flies, and small mealworm. Now currently I only have one female. I am looking for a male. I can't wait to find a male and be able to work with these two animals and hopefully get some babies. So which one was your favorite? Was it the first one that we saw, the Kaiser Lingi? Was it the cave gecko Juliensis? Was it one of the two Certidactylus? Or was it the green smooth scaled gecko? Let me know in a comment down below, and if you like seeing these rare geckos, absolutely make sure that you watch these videos right here on this playlist. And stick around because we might just have a part two coming up shortly. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next video.